welcome you to the Mike Vrabel Show with the Titans head coach. I'm Mike Keith. Tennessee coming off a 23 to 20 win over the Los Angeles Chargers. In all your years of football, you've experienced a lot of things. Have you ever experienced an ending quite like that one? No, we had one in Indy one time uh, with the Patriots. It was a uh, walk-off down there on the goal line. Uh, Willie McGinnis came in there and stopped him short, um, and that was in the last play of the game. Uh, but, but nothing quite like that. That was awesome. It was really fantastic. Fun watching the players compete uh, and fight to the end. Let's get right into Mike Vrabel's <clears throat> six-pack and look at some of the big plays in the Titans win. First drive, Kevin Byard shows why he's one of the best safeties in the National Football League. It's fourth and two. Hunter Henry's the receiver, and Byers says no. Well, really tight coverage right there. Uh, but, but what I wanted to remind you about is it's interior rush. You know, Rashawn coming through there, forcing the quarterback to get rid of the ball. Uh, the rush helping a tight coverage. Kevin Byard with an outstanding play. The defense keeping the Chargers from getting points in that drive, and that would prove to be bigger later in the game. In the next possession, the first of the game for the Titans, Kevin Byard is involved again, Coach. Absolutely. You know, a play that uh, you know we liked all week. We, we felt like we were going to get the certain look at a certain part of the field uh, where we ran it and uh, got a lot of faith in those guys with Kern and Byard. Uh, two of our more dependable players uh, and, and felt confident making that call and that, that decision and it ended up leading to three points. Titans lead three to nothing. As we go to the second quarter, the Titans find themselves down 10 to three. And for the first time this year, the offense scores points in the last two minutes of the half. Tannehill to Davis for an eight yard touchdown. Absolutely. I think the, the biggest thing here is that Ryan plants his back foot uh, Corey gets there, and the ball's in the air. He turns around. There's great spacing right there. He throws it between two defenders. Um, as you can see here, you know, Ryan plants his back foot and then lets it rip, and you, know, you got to throw in a tight windows down there. Ryan Tannehill throws for 312 yards in the game. Corey Davis, six catches for 80 yards in the Titans' victory, and that a touchdown on the day. It's 10-10 at halftime. Early third quarter, the Titans get a big play from a defensive lineman playing his first game, Jeffrey Simmons. There it is. Couldn't be happier for, for any player. Um, I know how much he's worked. I know how much this game meant to him to, to recognize and realize this lifelong dream of playing in the NFL. And we're certainly glad that he's there uh, here with us um, doing those things now. And, and we're going to have to add more to his plate. And you know, He's a disruptive player in there. Does a nice job on the tackle and yet works his way back to the quarterback. Also a very heady play for a young lineman. Well, we talked about not running by the quarterback. I mean, Phillip Rivers needs to be affected interiorly uh, up inside. He's one of those quarterbacks that really doesn't care if guys are running behind him. Uh, and that was a great job of not running by the quarterback and coming back inside. It's still 10-10 to as we move to the fourth quarter, but the Titans break the tie with a touchdown pass to Tajay Sharp. Yeah, they went to the... Uh, the ever popular nine man drop um, probably dropped another guy out than, than should have gone. But normally um, you get see eight guys in coverage down there in the red zone. And you know, Ryan progresses through there and Tajay's a secondary read in the back of the end zone and gives him a good ball there to catch. And Tajay's able to keep his feet in bounds. So Sharp makes the catch. He finishes the day with two catches for 19 yards and a big play for the Titans. His first touchdown in 11 months. Another touchdown for a guy who's been putting it in the end zone regularly this year, Derrick Henry with an 11 yard run. Yep, we get some guys out in front of him here on the toss, and you know, receivers are out there blocking. John who's blocking, Corey's blocking, Taylor gets around. You know, and then you're going to see the post safety. This guy coming in right here, that's the post safety, and he's going to make him miss uh, right here. Jenkins, he's going to make him miss, but you see AJ blocking, straining, finishing longer than the guy with the ball. Um, th those are things that sometimes goes un go unnoticed. Uh, they won't uh, when we meet with the players and, and explain to them how big those blocks are. Derrick Henry, 22 rushes for 90 yards in the ball game. You mentioned A.J. Brown there. Six catches for 64 yards for the rookie from Ole Miss. Looked like he played another good game. Sure. You know, I like the way those guys attack the football. You know, they go out there, him and Corey and some of those guys, those receivers, and Janu. Uh, we were able to get a lot of guys involved. But, 
but I love how they go and attack the football. They don't let the football get into their body, and they, they catch it out in front of their eyes. And what about the rookies in this game? Nate Davis along with Simmons and David Long had a tackle for loss. You get a lot of help from the young guys, Imani Hooker at the safety yeah, spot. Yeah, I mean, they have to play. You know, I mean, everybody, you know, you get 46 guys on the game day roster. Um, pretty much everybody's going to be a part of it in some, some form or fashion, and it's great to see those guys help contribute uh, to the victory. Three and four, you're right back in this thing. Sure. Same place we were last year. Um, you know, that, that's we got to get going. When we come back, it's time for the Bridgestone Clutch Performance of the Game. I think you know what it's going to be, but you want to stick around on the Mike Brable Show. Forty-eight hours, but I don't know if we've totally recovered from the goal line stand at the end of the Titans 23 to 20 win over the Chargers. Let's set the scene. 22 seconds to go. Second and goal inside the one. Melvin Gordon's going to get the football, but he's not going to hold on to it. No, he's not. You can see Jeff there create a new line of scrimmage, forces him probably a little wider. Wood comes off the edge, you know, put, puts his hand right on the football. It comes out. Um, there's a scrum for it. There's a lot of things going on here. You know, at the end of the day, we got to make sure that we get the football and uh, we need clear recovery. It's bouncing around there. Jarrell ends up with it. You know, not sure where he wants to go with it, but uh, we got clear recovery. I mean, this is just guys battling I mean, in the trenches. Um, it's elbows and you know what's in there fighting. Casey at the bottom of the pile. Simmons at the bottom of the pile. Evans with a hit. You mentioned Woodyard pulling hard at his arm, and then Casey with his fifth career recovery of a fumble, and it took him a it took him a little time to sort it all out. Yeah, there was a lot of lot of chaos and mayhem down there, and guys are running everywhere, and you know they just you know I guess that's why instant replay is what it is. It can sort out the the things that happen on the field. That you know, thank God I think one thing Stretch said today was we had the afternoon game and we had more more TVs more cameras, gives them more views to, to make, you know, changes. And you knew right away you had the ball and everything was cool. Well, I knew we had the ball, but again, you have to show clear recovery of that football. I mean, that's, if it's in a pile, uh, thank God it wasn't in the pile. It was out in the open because if it's in a pile, they're, they're not going to tell you you got clear recovery. And if it had not been a clear recovery, the Chargers would have had at least one more play. Yeah, I think they would have had, you know, two more plays. They could have thrown, you know, it had been five seconds, clock would have started on the ready. You know, what they chose to do at that point in time was either throw a fade or, or clock it. Um, that was up to them, but, you know, they would have, there would have been five seconds on the clock after the 10-second runoff. The Titans hold, get the win, 23-20 to 20 over the Chargers, our Bridgestone clutch performance play of the game. And now it's time for our Delta Dental Guess the Titan. Mike Griffin is 2-5 on the season guessing. Oh. And here he goes again. Here is... The current Titans player as a young child. It's a good picture. Handsome young fellow. Well, we got the cutest kids in the uh, in the league, I think. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to give you a little time. No pressure. I'm going to need it. No pressure. The Delta Dental guess the Titan coming up. Johnu Smith on deck in the Gladiator, too, as Amy Wells is standing by. Stay with us for more of the Mike Brable Show. Delta Dental, guess the Titan. Mike Vrabel, your guess is? That's Tajay Sharp. It's Tajay oh, Sharp. thank goodness. The touchdown scorer from Sunday. Thank goodness. One of your favorite guys in terms of his, his work ethic? Well, you know, he's helped us out of practice on the show team, and, you know, he, um, he plays a lot of different positions. He knows all those receiver positions, which is unique. Uh, there's a lot of moving parts to that stuff, and and Tajay's been able to handle it, been able to help us out a lot of different places, and you know it's good to see guys that have uh, good weeks at practice uh, translate to the game. Speaking of guys with work ethic, our Geico Gladiator of the game is Jonu Smith, three catches, 64 yards. That guy's not coming off the field much right now. No, he's not. And in, in the way that he's catching the football, he's attacking it. He's he's catching it out in front of his eyes. He's He's strong with the football. He's such a strong runner. Um, I really love the design of the play and the execution. Third and 15, 
know, we throw them a five yard route, we keep them on the move, get great blocks on the, uh, in the edge of the defense by uh, Ferk and, and Darius and Dion. You know, and then Prue breaks tackles and, and made guys miss, which was a huge key to the game. You know, going in, we had, we had stressed that. Native of Ocala, Florida, wearing number 81, John U. Smith joins our Amy Wells for our Geico Gladiator of the Game feature. After reviewing the play, the runner lost the ball prior to crossing the goal line. It was a clear recovery by the defense. It's a touchback. Janu, as you're watching the final seconds of the Titans game against the Chargers from the sideline, what is going through your mind? Just faith, you know, faith in my guys, you know, we're going to get it done. You know, that was, uh, you know, man, that was thrilling. That was thrilling to see. You know, I'm just uh, thankful that I'm a part of this team and I got to experience something as cool as that. How beneficial is it to you that you are able to stand on the sidelines and have that faith knowing that the other guys on your team are going to do their job and make the plays that need yeah, to happen. We're, we're brotherhood, you know, we, we trust in each other. You know, we hold each other accountable. You know, everybody, you know, has a, their own job. And, you know, we, we have faith in each other. And when you put trust in, you know, your brother, um, it makes him want to go out there and, and, and play, you know, play his behind off for you. So um, that's what they did yesterday. And that's what we did too. You have faith in your teammates. They also have faith in you. Early in the third quarter, third and 14, it's a short pass. You turn upfield and go for 35 yards. Here comes the pressure. Quick throw to the middle. Janu Smith breaks out of a tackle. Driving forward. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and down just short of midfield. What a play, Janu Smith. What is going through your brain when you make that first turn and take off? I got to get the first down, if not a touchdown. And that's all I was thinking. You know, break as many tackles as I can, get upfield, get north and south. You know, and that's, that's what I did. You're asked to do a lot of things in this offense. Obviously, you're catching balls. You're a run blocker. You're a pass blocker. You're the man in motion. You're doing a lot of different things. How do you keep it all straight in your brain and do everything so effectively? Just confidence. Knowing where you got to be at all times, you know, takes a lot of studying. You know, it takes a lot of brains as well, but I can handle it. And, uh, you know, it's a cool job. You know, it's a cool gig. Blocking for a guy like Derrick Henry, be serious with me right now. Do you block extra hard for him just like in self-preservation so that he doesn't run over you? Honestly, block extra hard for any anybody. You know what I mean? Any of those ball carriers, any of those guys, you know, that has the ball in their hands, I don't care if it's an offensive lineman. You know what I mean? I'm going, you know, all out for, you know, for my guys. There's been a lot of conversation about Jeffrey Simmons coming back from an ACL injury. You also are coming back from ACL surgery. You had it less than a year ago. Does that give you a unique perspective on how impressive it is that he's back and making plays already? Yeah, it does, man. That guy's built different genetically, as you can see. He's a monster, man. And, and to see him come back, um, you know, that's a good feeling because I, I know what he went through. I know what he had to go through. I know what it takes. And, you know, don't get it wrong, I'm built different too. So I was able to come back and, you know, make a good comeback and, uh, you know, play at a high level. Are you feeling 100% right now? I'm feeling 100%. I'm feeling 100%. I am. Where does this team go from here and especially this offense coming off of such an emotional victory how do you kind of continue that momentum without letting the emotions from last week leak yeah. into the next week yeah um you you got to enjoy these wins man you know they're, they're hard to get so we're definitely going to enjoy this win but it's a week-to-week -week league and um you know it's, it's, a, it's a business and we, we got to take care of business so you know whether we won or lost the week before we just got to have a short-term memory and know that um you know, next week is a, a totally different week. Do you remember the last time the Tennessee Titans blocked a field goal and returned it for a touchdown? Well, it was 297 games ago, nearly 18 years to the day. It happened on October 21st, 2001. Detroit kicker Jason Hansen set to attempt a field goal with his team ahead 14 to nine in the third quarter. Titans defensive tackle Henry Ford with the block, and the ball is scooped up by Tennessee defensive back Donald Mitchell. Mitchell rambles 69 yards for a score that will propel the Titans to a 27-24 win over the Lions. That's the last time the Titans have returned a block field goal for a touchdown. been to a game at Nissan Stadium, you need to come see the Titans play. It is an incredible overall atmosphere. 
You can see the Titans play the Bucks this Sunday at noon. Tickets available at titansonline.com slash tickets. For some of that experience, we now give you some of the sounds of Sunday's game. Today, the Tennessee Titans seek a win over the Los Angeles Chargers. We cry time, man. We try to get a dub today. So we're going to come with it. We're going to come with it, baby. The city need it. Rivers dropping, floating it down the middle for Allen. Tries to catch it one-handed. Ryan will not allow it. And Logan smacked him hard. Best secondary in the league. That was good. It's a fake. Throw. Caught. Fired. First down. Fired with the grab. Fires down the middle, caught, touchdown, Titans! Corey Davis makes the catch! From the shotgun, Rivers to throw it. Stepping up, sack! Jeffrey Simmons, his first career sack. Fires to the back of the end zone, man is there, ball is caught. Trying to turn it up. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. He's in the end zone, standing up. Touchdown! Titan! Derek Henry. Rivers takes the snap. Gives it to Gordon. Did he get in? No, he did not. Previous play is under review. All right. The Chargers have scored two touchdowns that have been wiped off. It was Casey who came up with it in the end zone. And it looks like if this goes the Titans' way, they win a miraculous game. After reviewing the play, the runner lost the ball prior to crossing the goal line. There's a clear recovery by the defense. That's probably the greatest, greatest goal last night I've ever been a part of. Hey, man, listen, man, it's Kevin Byer here. Sometimes you trade your own luck, man. We had a blade of grass to play with, and we kept playing hard, man. One of the greatest games in Titans history, man. You can count on that. The National Football League experience in Nashville, very special at Nissan Stadium. Your guys came to play at the end when you had to have it. The fans brought it at the end when you had to have they it. did they did and i and we appreciate them uh third down those critical downs down in the scoring zone uh, especially at the end of the game you know we, we're going to play hard for them we're going to try to create as many explosive plays and exciting plays as we possibly can um, for our fans um, our players feed off their energy uh, we try to try to deliver the energy for our fans and and, and receive it in, in return that was a day you will never forget if you were at Nissan Stadium. Hopefully you'll be there this Sunday when the Titans take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. When we come back, Mike Vrabel's keys to success against the Bucs. That's next on the Mike Vrabel Show. The opponents, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on their way to town. Titans trying to get to four and four with a second straight win. Let's take a look at Mike Vrabel's keys to success. And we begin with pass defense. They're throwing the football. They're, they're throwing for almost 300 yards a game. You know, we have to continue to, you know, combine the pressure uh, with the coverage. Um, they've given up 25 sacks. You know, we have to continue that trend. We have to affect the quarterback. We have to get on. Um, Evans, you know, we have to plan for these guys. These guys are elite receivers. Um, Godwin, uh, very productive guys. I think they both each have 51 targets each. Uh, that, that's a lot of targets through six games. Red zone obviously going to be a factor in this one for both the Titans offense and defense. Yeah, it's somewhere, I, you know, hopefully we can take advantage of it. They've been giving up some points right now. That hasn't been something um, that's been a strength of theirs. We have to try to continue um, where we left off last week in the red zone, three for three. Um, and, and again, they're, they're scoring points. You know, they're scoring a bunch of points. They're almost scoring 30 points a game. So uh, we're going to have to be great down there in the red zone on both sides of the football. Finally, Tampa, the number one run defense in the league. Titans still 
have to be able to run the football. Yeah, I mean, you have to. You have to stay balanced, and it's going to be a huge challenge and a great test for us uh, to be able to try to run the football, to create some balance, to, to create some opportunities to to throw the football. And also, you know, that, that's, that's the way we get our guys involved, and uh, they're really good at stopping the run, and that's going to be something that we're going to have to practice hard at. Tampa's defensive coordinator, Todd Bowles, outstanding. Very good football coach, understands defense, and uh, historically he's um, – He's given a lot of offenses some problems. Let's get another win on Sunday. Okay. All right, let's see those Titans fans there at Nissan Stadium. Reminder, tickets available at titansonline.com slash tickets. If you can't be there, make sure and listen on Titans Radio. Titans Countdown is on the air at 11 a.m. And again, it is a noon kickoff. The Titans and the Bucks, the last Sunday in October at Nissan Stadium. For Mike Vrabel, Mike Keith says goodnight, everybody.